everyone and welcome to the last in my best of 2015 series. This is my lifestyle favorites list, which is totally random. I tried to break it up into categories, books, objects, so to speak, and recipes. And as always, I'm always, with these kind of videos when you're making lists, after the fact, there's always something that pops into my head that I'm like, ah, oh, how could I have forgotten that? It was one of my most favorite things. So be sure to read the accompanying blog post because I write it after I film the video. And that gives me an opportunity to remember things that I have forgotten, which at this point in my life, I forget more than I remember. Also, if you hear footsteps walking around, Bosley is up and around and being more rambunctious than usual. And I'm not gonna complain about that. So that's what's going on in the background. That being said, let's get going. So let's talk about books. Um, I like to reread books. So this list is not particularly long because I've done a lot of rereading over 2015, but some new books, that um, they're all, I'm looking at my list, yes, none of them are standalones, they're all book series. That's my preference. I like to get to know the characters and hang out with them for a while, but okay. The first one in the series is the last one that I read, and I've you've heard of all of these. It's the Cormoran Strike series. Um, I can't remember, why can't I remember her, um, her other name? It's written by J.K. Rowling, but it's under a pen name. Robert Galbraith, I want to say. I think that's it. Everything will be linked below. Um, it's a set. It's So far, it's three in the series. I read all three. I went from one to the other. They were fabulous. I'm hoping. I think more are coming. I hope more are coming because it's a great series. It's about a private detective in London. There's no magic or anything. It's a straight-up mystery, adult mystery series. I love, love, love that. Love them. They're great. The next series I start at the beginning of the year, it's the Claire Ferguson, Russ Van Alstine mystery series. Claire is the female lead and she is a newly ordained Episcopalian priest. And Russ is the small town police chief where she uh, is assigned to a parish. So it's a very interesting series and there are quite a few in that one. So you really wanna dive into a good long series. I highly recommend that one. That is by Julia Spencer Fleming, by the way. Then the next one are three series, all kind of intertwined. They can all stand alone, but they all do they do better when you read them, all of them. And it's uh, they're all by Laura N. Gilman, and it's the Paranormal Scene Investigators series, which I think is probably the first one you should read, the Retrievers series, and the Sylvan Investigation series. So there's a lot of crossover. You'll see characters from all three series kind of go back and forth. And if you're into like a little fun urban fantasy paranormal kind of thing, those are gonna be for you. And they're not too terribly expensive on Amazon either. Um, the Kindle options are, some of them are free or a couple of dollars. So that's a, that's a good one to go for. And I did borrow a few of them online from my library too. So that's always nice. Now let's get into objects. So um, I love this bag. This is the softest bag. This is not the point. These are my friend's headphones. And I bought these for a couple of reasons. These were not sent to me, I did buy them. They, I got them from Bobble Bar, but they are pretty much everywhere now. now I've seen them at Nordstrom, I've seen them at Net-A-Porte, Net is that how you say it? Which is my preference because it's three day shipping and it's free. Nordstrom I love is free shipping, but their shipping is slow. But anyway, these are the Friends headphones. They now come in, a. Um, these are the standard size, but they now come with even larger um, headphones themselves, like the circle part. But these are very smushy. They're very comfortable. They do cancel out sound. I cannot really hear myself that well. Um, I love the rose gold caps. You can, they come with another set of caps. You can twist these and interchange them. Um, I like, they come in different, I like the rose gold and white. They come in black and gold and a couple other options. They're compatible with your iPhone. They um, have the volume control here. Um, I use them for editing when I'm around other people and I don't want them to hear what I'm doing or I don't want my stuff to interrupt them. So like they fold up nicely, very easily like that, go in a little travel bag. These have been wonderful for travel, even at home. Like I'll sit at the dining room table with the kids sometimes while they're studying and I'll just pop my headphones on and edit something and we're all working together. So it's, I just, I love them. And because they're, let's face it, pretty girly, these are the only headphones my kids have not borrowed. Yeah. Okay. Um, hi Mimi. Mimi's come to say hello. Can we show you? You got a new haircut? Oof. Hello. Yeah, they're over there. Look over there. She's so pretty. You smell good. Okay. 
Mimi is always a lifestyle favorite. Ooh, you're getting chunky. Okay, I love, I love pens. Like, I love pens. This should be no surprise to any of you who've watched me for a while. And because I'm a lefty, I'm very particular on my pens. They have to be a very fine point. They can't smear when I write. And these, I don't even think I mentioned them in a favorites video, but these, I started with, I did mention the Le Pens. These blow them away. These are the Stadler pens, and I have this 20 pack, but um, I'm gonna go order like a larger one because I want more, I'm greedy. And I love how it can be opened up and folded, and I just keep this open and propped up on my desk. I love the color options. These are very smoothly fine tip, smoothly writing, fine tipped. The ink just flows. I love all the color options. Um, I use these in my planner, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And, um, because I can color code different colors for different kids and people and events and so forth. I just use it to write, like I wrote out my lifestyle favorites. There you go. Love them. And they don't bleed through the paper. That was another important thing, that there's no bleed through. So love the Stadler pens. So we're talking about planners. Okay. This is gonna come as a shock to a lot of you because I pitched and moaned about this in my vlog earlier this year and I didn't want to love it. I really did not want to like this, but I have put more thought into picking a planner than it took me to pick Michael to marry. Like seriously, it's true. I knew I was going to marry him the day I met him and apparently he felt the same way because two months later we were engaged. It's taken me longer than two months to find the perfect planner. <sighs> yes, it's the Erin Condren. Even though the customer service is absolute crap, crap. They did finally come through and get me, mine came slightly damaged and I had to get a new one. That being said, the actual product, I have tried every single written planner in the world and this one just works for me. I like the, um, where am I? There's not a lot going on this week, so it looks like that. <laughs> um, I like, I have the horizontal layout, yes. And I just, I love, I love it. I love how it's laid out. I love all the options. I'm not the decorator kind of planner, not because I don't want to, but more because I just don't get it. Like, I, like I'm like i not creative enough, but it, whatever. Um, we all have our creative outlets and apparently that's not mine, but I, I really like watching other people's planner video. I just, the sticker thing just doesn't work for me. Um, that being said, I've tried personal planner, I've tried mead planners, I've tried day runners, I've tried blue sky, I mean, I, you, you all know, I've gone through a lot of planners. I looked at the happiness planner, it wasn't substantial enough for me, and because I'm left-handed, the way the rings opened up in the middle kept banging into my arm when I wrote. So anyway, I don't want this to turn into a planner review video, but I do love this thing, and I'm kind of curious to order the vertical planner. That might actually work better for me than this. I'm not sure. Uh, last August, just so you can see how things go in my life. In August, when the kids started football, it looked a lot like that. So as you can see, there's like, I don't know how I would do with a vertical. Like I just had a lot of stuff going on. So I don't know, but anyway. The other thing I wanna ask you guys is, um, I do want to see if it's feasible for me to decorate a little bit, but I have never found anyone in the planning community that makes videos or blogs about planners that is, what I'm looking for is a working mom who keeps track of all her stuff, her work stuff, her personal stuff, and her kids' stuff in the planner. And the kids have to be middle school age with lots of activities. That's kind of what I'm looking for. It's not a slam against anybody who is not in that category, but I can't relate to a single woman who only has to worry about herself in the planner or someone who's not planning kids stuff or even if they have little kids, it's not quite so activity heavy yet. So I have a very small niche that I'm looking for and if I can't find somebody like that, then maybe I need to start my own planning videos. I don't know. Okay, we went off on a huge tangent. If you're not into paper planners, the other thing that has saved my family's life, and I've talked about this a lot, is the Cozy app, um, C-O-Z-I. You can download it for free off of Amazon. I am on the subscription service because it gives a lot more options. I think it's $30 a year. 
It's wonderful. It ha I keep track of my shopping lists on there and my calendar on there and it's shared by everyone in the family. So if my kids wanna add like, hey mom, we need more chocolate chip cookies or I want more granola bars, whatever, they don't tell me, they just put it on the list. So love, love, love that. Um, next are glimmer strings and I'm gonna insert some shots of my glimmer strings that I used um, over the holidays. I actually have one, you can't see it, but it's over my head here on my um, chandelier. They are from Pier One. They come in a couple of color options and they are the coolest way to add something pretty and sparkly to your house. They're little tiny light bulbs like the size of a grain of rice on translucent wire so you can string them in a variety of places and because they're battery operated, you don't need to worry about plugging them in anywhere. So I love them. Got those at Pier One. And the other thing I wanna talk about lifestyle wise, it's really changed up my room. Thank you, Erin, for suggesting this. It's actually the mirror behind me. You can't really see it very well. I'll put in a shot. Um, it was a sunburst mirror from Pier One and it was relatively inexpensive for what it is. And they just brought it back online again. And I, you can't really see it. I love it. It just changed up my room and it's beautiful and I would have never thought to purchase it without Aaron's suggestion and best thing I bought for the house in 2015. Um, something that smells amazingly good and I'm almost out. You know my love of amber scented things. This is the Diptyque Amber Candle. It is amazing. It is one of the few Diptyque candles that does not have an accompanying um, perfume or eau de toilette, which is really annoying, but this is a warm, sexy, definitely bedroom smell. And it can be masculine as well if you're looking for a, kind of a sexy gift for your the man in your life. Mm, love it. So highly recommend that. I got mine at Nordstrom. And then the last, nope, sorry, two more things. Don't have it to show you because it's sold out in the stores, but I found it online. Is my beloved gingerbread coffee from my Keurig. It's the best. It's I've tried some other things. Can't find any flavor I love as much as that one. And of course it's seasonal, so you really kind of have to hunt for it now that the Christmas season is over. But I found a few links on Amazon and um, I think Staples soon will put it on clearance. I'm kind of hoping for that. Anyway, love, love. Two more things. This juicer, I cook a lot and I cook a lot with lemons. And this guy, this lemon juicer has gotten has made cooking with lemons a lot easier and I can get all the juice out and it's it's just, it's changed my life. I think I got it at Sir La Table or something like that, but I'll put the link below. It's It doesn't look like much, but it is the most wonderfully useful kitchen gadget that I've used in 2015 and Mimi says so too. And then the last object, I know I owe you a whole video on this gadget and it will come, I just haven't quite figured out how to do a review on it. It's the uh, Netgear Arlo home wireless video cameras. These are fabulous. These are so idiot proof and easy to set up and so much less money. I mean, we've got quotes to do hard wire cameras for our house in the thousands of dollars. And I think the set of three is about three or $400. Um, they're very lightweight. They're really easy to use. And the, most recently we used this because Bosley's been sick and we've been worried about leaving him alone. So we put these strategically in places in the house where he hangs out while we're gone so we can look on our phones and see what he's up to. So this has been great. Unfortunately, we even caught it when he was throwing up on my rug in my feet, but whatever. We saw, so we knew. And then we came home. So those are it for the objects. And then real quickly, cause there's not a lot to discuss here, but I wanted to share my most requested recipes in 2015 and I will put links to all of them. And one of my new year's resolutions is to add a whole page on my um, blog that's just for recipes. So you can go eventually and you'll see recipes at the top and you, or maybe it'll be under lifestyle and it'll be a subheading. It'll say recipes and you can always go there. But in the meantime, this is where they're all gonna live. And the recipes I'm gonna share with you are my beer bread, it's not mine, but beer bread recipe, the lemon spaghetti recipe, which is really, you can put any pasta in there, but it's technically lemon spaghetti. And that was from Jada De Laurentiis. Um, meatloaf recipe that is from a cookbook that my mom got in like 1960 something, it's really old. My favorite chicken piccata recipe, which is also from Jada De Laurentiis. My banana bread recipe, which is from Martha Stewart. Um, my latke recipe, which is from the back of the Simply Potatoes um, hash browns bag that I buy. Uh, Fusilli alla caprese, which is also a, a Giada de Laurentiis. Do you see a theme? And then my favorite um, source for recipes in 2015 
And the only cookbook I bought is Laura in the Kitchen, her cookbook and her website. I love Laura. She's, I mean, I don't know her, but I think I do from watching her videos. She seems like an amazingly warm, genuine person. And I was so excited to get her cookbook and I've cooked a lot of recipes out of there and they all turned out amazingly well. And I did, like I said, I did buy the cookbook. Like I pre-ordered it, I was very excited. So um, love that cookbook. Highly recommend that you go out and buy it, not just because it is a great resource to have, but it's really nice to support someone who seems like such a genuinely wonderful person and deserves all the success that she's had this last year. So that is it for my lifestyle favorites. Thanks for hanging out in my best of 2015 series. So starting in February, Marnie and Michael Mondays will come back, but they won't be every week, um, at least once a month. Otherwise, um, I don't know, we'll just have some random stuff going on on Mondays. Haven't figured out what's going on there yet. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome to another installment in products I have used up, or as it's known around the internet, empties video.